everybody. My name is Aaron Harp with Aaron Harp Magic. I want to give a special shout out to the LaRue County Public Library uh, for putting on this little special uh, segment that they are doing where we're going to be teaching you all magic tricks that you all can do uh, with everyday items that you can either find around the home or that you can pick up at like the little dollar store for maybe a dollar if that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Harp with Aaron Harp Magic. I am a, a professional magician with a little over 18 years experience performing magic uh, and we are from LaRue County as well. So let's go ahead and start out with a, a really neat magic trick here uh, with a card that as you can see has a little green dot on the front uh, and you can see there's just one on this side. If you flip it over, there's four dots on that side. If you turn it around on this side, there's three dots. And if you flip over on that side, there's actually six dots. So let's do that one more time. You have one, you have four, you have three, you have six. You're probably scratching your head right now trying to figure out how in the world that's possible. So one more time, there's one, there's four, there's three, there's six. It's a pretty cool magic trick that you can do uh, with just everyday items that you can find around the house. So for this one, you're actually going to need some index cards. Uh, what we use is we use the four by six, uh, the six inch index cards, just because it looks a little better and they're a little bit bigger and easier to handle. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two index cards. Uh, and the reason why is you're gonna hide the line. So you don't want the line showing so what I did is I took one on each side and I just taped together all the way around the edges. I just taped the two cards together. Uh, if you have a glue stick laying around the house, you can use a glue stick as well. And uh, you would just apply the glue stick on this side. You would set it down completely even and press on that until it dries. So once you have your card into place just like this, uh, that's when we're gonna get started. You also need um, some little color coding labels that you would use at like a yard sale. If you're gonna place little price tags on items for sale for a yard sale. Uh, and you wanna have the same color. So we could use yellow for this just as an example, we'll use yellow. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to start out with this side here. So if you have the card sitting in front of you, we're gonna take a yellow first and we're gonna place one dot up top. So we're going to place a dot up top just like that. Then we're going to take one more yellow and we're going to place it in the middle. Now it doesn't make sense yet, but I'll show you in just a second why we're doing this. Once you have this, you're going to find the empty spot, that bottom, and just flip to the other side. Now once you flip to the other side, you're going to take one and place it in the top left corner. Then you're gonna leave a gap and you're gonna place the other one in the bottom left corner. Then you're going to place three along the right side and you wanna make them even with each other, except the middle one because there's nothing on the other side in the middle. And then the last one, you wanna make it even with the one on the left side. So you should have something like this. It should look like this. Once you have that, let's go over the handling. When you start out, you're gonna start out this side facing the audience. This is the side that faces the audience. And your left hand is gonna cover the bottom sticker. Your right hand is going to go behind and cover the middle sticker when you flip the card over. So you start covering the bottom sticker, right hand covers the middle sticker as you flip the card over. Then you're gonna turn it sideways instead of flipping over, but your hand is gonna cover the hole there where there's no sticker. So you're here, your hand goes here and flips that way. Then your hand is gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna cover this hole. So you're gonna flip that way this time. So we'll go through it slow. Left hand covers the bottom sticker. That shows one. Right hand flips over, covers the fifth sticker in the middle. Left hand comes, covers the bottom hole. Right hand covers the middle hole. So if that makes sense, you have one, four, three, six. We'll do that again. One, four, three, six. Last time, 
One, four, three, and six. So the audience, it looks like you start out with one, then all of a sudden you have four on this side, but then now you have three and then you have six. It's very easy to do. It's a really neat magic trick where you can fool your friends and all you need is to take two stickers on that side, flip over, three on the right side, one at the top, one at the bottom, leave the gap in the middle and you're set up ready to go. Now I purchased uh, the index cards at the Dollar General Store. Uh, I think they were a dollar if that, they might not even have been that much. Um, so that was a dollar and then these were a dollar. So for $2, uh, and you might have this stuff laying around the house, but if not, for $2 you can go pick up uh, some index cards and some stickers and you're ready to go. And it doesn't even have to be this sticker. If you have like smiley face stickers at home and they're all the same, you can place the smiley face stickers uh, in the spots of these stickers. So uh, if you have a different sticker and they're all the same, you can place them all around. So that way, uh, just as long as you have them in the same order on both sides. So it's a very easy magic trick that you all can learn uh, from the comfort of your home. And do us a favor, if you uh, practice this or you build this magic trick here, send us a video of you performing the magic trick. We would love to see that. I would definitely share it on our Aaron Hart Magic Facebook page. I'm sure the Lurie County Library uh, Facebook would also share the video of you all performing the magic trick. Uh, so one more time, my name is Aaron Hart with Aaron Hart Magic. I wanna give a special thank you to the Lurie County Library for putting on um, this, this uh, video here that we are able to teach you magic tricks from the comfort of your own home. So uh, thanks so much and we'll see you soon.